Question we get often asked is, how do I know I fired to exactly a cone six? So I'm going to explain that to you today, and I'm going to be using a couple of uh, data and information that we have here from Orton. When you fire to a cone for a ceramic material, that material needs to be fired to a time and temperature window to develop all the properties to get that ceramic material to be at the optimum properties that you're looking for. This can be done in a number of different ways by changing the heating rate and the time of the firing. This graph is representing all the data that we have acquired over the years on our cones. And this one is specifically for cone six. And I've plotted the information for you. What this shows is that you can fire on a slow heating rate and deform cone six to within the firing window that makes cone six bend by actually only going to 1200 degrees. If you were to increase the heating rate, we know that you can fire at a fast rate and it will deform it 40 degrees higher at 1240. Most of the medium rates that we program electronic kilns to fire on and cone six at a temperature of 1222 degrees, which is in the middle. If you are firing your kiln and you're going to target cone six and you get a cone that looks anything like these here in front of me, you've actually achieved cone six because the cone has started to deform. The difference that you see here between these cones is merely only a few degrees centigrade, which can be measured by using one of our cone templates and placing it up against the cone and measuring the angle. And using the angle, you can come over to this chart and determine the actual temperature. But what you'll see here in this chart is that the temperatures at which a cone starts to deform the total range is only anywhere from 17 to 20 degrees centigrade. So there's your window. If you've entered that window anywhere from 1200 to 1240 and you've got the cone to start bending over and the ceramic that you're firing looks good, that becomes your target 